Hi YouTube, how you doing? Um, today we're going to be fitting uh, this. Yeah, it's a Victron shunt, um, but it's Bluetooth, so um, you can sort of see everything on your phone. I've got, I've got one of these. Hold on, I'll show you. I've got one of these at the moment. Um, it's all right. I think I wired it round the wrong way because uh, I can't work it out in the tail of it. So uh, I decided to have um, everything else on my everything else on my van is all Bluetooth. So like the the um, the Renergy thing is Bluetooth inverter. So I thought I may as well stick something else in. Um, anyway, let's start. First thing to do is disconnect the battery. Um, I am hoping, well that ain't going to fit is it? Hold on a minute, I'll go and get me 10 mil. Right, I found it. There you go. Apparently, this is the most used and lost tool in any person's toolbox. And uh, I can vouch for that because this is about my fifth one. Uh, right. So I'm trying to do this with one end, not easy. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so everything's dead, disconnected now. Um, I'm gonna turn the solar off, because uh, obviously I've got power still coming from that, so there's my solar. So I've got nothing there. If that's sod it, I'm gonna turn them all off. Right, so I've got zero power now. Now what I've gotta do is I've gotta I've got to undo that and that and this falls forward and then the uh, unit is in there so we'll uh, we'll unscrew that and um, and lean it forward another little thing I learnt is always put the same screws in the same area so you don't have to get three different blooming screwdrivers to undo it Should be alright if I if I can just lean this forward just a touch then I've got a feeling I can get at the um get at the shunt. Okay, that's alright, just get to the other side. See what I mean? Look. There you go. Oh. Okay. Okay, what I've had to do. Five minute job never takes five minutes, does it? So I've had to remove the panel because this this wouldn't come this wouldn't come out. So the next job is to try and get this. I don't know how I've secured. Oh, I see. I've got a little thing. Where is it? There. Look. I've got to undo that. So let's undo that. Okay. So this should drop forward now. Uh, you won't you won't like what you see behind. But there you go. Um, Stop this from falling completely. Okay, I said don't look. Right, so that's the thing I've got to 
change, which is fairly simple because you just got to undo it all and um, and then replace it with the shunt. So it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, but while I'm here, I think I'll do some tidying up. Um, maybe paint the paint the wood here, make it all, you know. I've got a new battery coming. This is only a cheap battery that I've got out of a van. Uh, but I've got a 200 amp hour lithium coming. So um, I may as well tidy all this up before it arrives. But let's get this shunt in and uh, see how I get on. <clears throat> this one's pretty simple um, in the sense it, everything is all easily described yeah so um, this is to the battery minus of the your battery and to the um, uh, and to the housing so everything and then everything literally everything goes on that one so basically oh, sorry um, yeah, so everything is going to just screw onto that. Well, actually, I'll do it that way. Screw onto that, and then um, we should be fine. System. The only problem I've got is it's the wrong way round, but we'll we'll get round that. so many wires oh I'm gonna have to do some major tidying up while I'm doing this right so as I say some of these aren't gonna fit through this hole so I'm gonna have to go and get my crimping tool and change all these because they're not gonna fit on which is uh, a bit of a pain, but needs must. Okay, story so far. I managed to get the thing on. Um, the only problem is, if you can see, see, they're really tiny, and I've got one, two, three, four, about five lugs to put on that. Ain't big enough, so I had to go down to the uh, Wickham uh, screw and nut place, and he's given me one of them, which is the same, but it's just another. 10 mil bigger so I'll be able to fit everything on some of the some of the um, ends were M8s so I had to cut them off and stick M10s on <laughs> pain in the ass, but, but there you go okay right so we can get cracking and try and fit with this lot a little tidy up um, remove the battery um, I'm gonna try and get some more of this white perspex to put this side I've just painted this wall so um, apart from that there's not a lot I can do at the minute so uh, I'll catch up or you can catch up with me when I've, uh, when I've done that bit all right okay as you can see it's all back now I've painted this wall uh, and it's all back in um, at this point I'm going to, because um, all that's left to show you is just how the shunt works uh, and stuff like that. And I'm going to hand you over to someone way more knowledgeable than me. All right. We're going to get one of our power cables and connect it from here out to the positive terminal of our battery. And they did such a good job with this. This is so nice. It is so easy to install. And I just heard it turn on. You can hear a buzzing. Now that we have power, we need to connect with Bluetooth to our phone and calibrate the shunt. So pull up the Victron Connect app, and it says Smart Shunt 500 Amps, so we're going to click on that. Next, you need to complete the Bluetooth pairing request with six zeros, and then press OK. <gasps> and once it's connected on the first page, you have basic stats of the battery, and then you have a history tab, and this is really cool. It shows the deepest discharge in amp hours, average discharge, last discharge cumulative, the energy discharged energy total, um, charge energy, um, lots of cool stuff here. And then you have trends, so it plots it out on a graph, which is really awesome. 
And to calibrate the shunt, you need to go to the settings tab and then battery and then change the battery capacity. This one has 280 amp hours, so we're gonna change that. And the charge voltage, I would say is 14.6. And the discharge floor is zero. And the Pukert exponent for lithium iron phosphate, we can do like 1.01. .01. Charge efficiency factor can be 99. Now we need to synchronize SOC to 100%. This battery is fully charged and I let it absorb all night. So I'm gonna press synchronize to 100%. And that's it, we should be good to go. Okay, that's it, all done. Um, it is great. Uh, it's a bit indulgent, I suppose. Uh, I don't know how much it was. It's about 120 quid. So it's a little bit indulgent, but uh, it gives you a good idea of what's coming in, what's going out and everything else. So. There you go, I hope you liked it. Um, look out for the next video, which is about my Flaming Well body control module. I'm still having trouble with it, so uh, it's an ongoing saga. So uh, we'll take it from there. Look out for that one. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.